the question here, I intentionally made it long so that you guys can start learning how to weed out the less important information. So this is a satire question, but at the same time, it's a priority question, depending on how you see. Um, so you read your, your basically last portion of the question, which is will give you the ask, the next plan of care. So the next plan of care. So that's your ask. It's your next plan of care. So plan of care of the next. Then the, the case is the rest of the question. A client presents to the emergency room uh, with painful, burning, erythematous rash along the line in a flank area in different stages. Some had vesicles in it and others are, uh, there's some hosing coming out from it. She developed the rash 12 hours ago. The rash immediately spread all over their body. So what is your care plan? So this is the questions that you guys will be seeing very soon in the next generation. Um, and you have to weed out the most important and the less important, get, take it out from it and then focus on your basket. So basically the case is somebody with rash came in and then we need to take care of it. So what are the buzzwords? Painful, burning, erythematous rash. That's number one. So that's our one. That's the key word right here. And is follow a dermaton in the flank area. So that's what give you away. It will give you the diagnosis. Number two, we have vesicles and some are hosing. That tells me it's open. Okay. She developed the rash just 12 hours ago. So whatever happened, she's still infectious. The rash immediately spread all over the body. So it decimated issue. So first you have to make a diagnosis. What do you think is the diagnosis? This look like a shingles. Um, they will give it, give it away is the, the rash is along a line in the flank area. That is the matoma uh, distribution of the, uh, of the rash. And so we have a patient who came in. So that is your rewrite. I'll rewrite it is saying, I have a patient that now has a shingles, okay? Telling me a previous infection with chicken pox. Now it gets shingles. So what will you include in the treatment? Then before you look at your answer, this is how you answer such a question. You already come down to your rewrite. Give yourself some content, okay? To use it to answer the question. So if somebody has shingles, and they come in and they is open or it's decimated, it's spread all over the body, or the patient is immunocompromised. We don't um then my plan look like treatment is the same as initial time they have the um chicken post, as if they've never had it before. So you treat them like initial way. And this patient, we don't know if it's immunocompromised, but we know that she has shingles and it's decimated. So for because of that, we need to institute contact precaution and airborne precaution. So this patient need two kind of precaution, airborne or contact. And then you take that to answer your question, spend 30 seconds, 20 seconds to come up with your own. This is the answer I'm looking for. And I look for the answers. Institute negative pressure room. Yeah, this is consistent with um, being in a airborne precaution strategy gowns and gloves why because patient need a contact precaution n95 max yes this is what you need when you institute airborne a cyclovir within 72 hours i know i never talk about this but this this is a viral medication whenever somebody have um, viral infection is best to institute uh, medication antiviral within 72 hours. Um, the longer you wait, the less it becomes efficient. So this is true. Pain management. Shingles is very painful. It burns. That's why patients come in. So whatever you want to give them is appropriate. Usually NSAIDs can do it, but they may need something more than that. So 
that's the answers right away. You see how we answer this set of questions straightforward without any problem. And so that's the way you go. So let all oh, that apply with prioritization of our knowledge. So that's that. Next questions. So we have a, the same thing, South question. But the main idea is the next priority action includes. So you can get started. I don't always like to do select all that apply with prioritization so that you can see how you can learn more priority information. So you, our ask is priority action. Okay. So that's our ask right here. Then our case is very short. The client had been there with presume active TV. So we have active TV patient. And what is our action? Priority action. So buzzwords, we've seen it. Active TV, priority action. Therefore, we write, you ask yourself, patient in active TV, what is your treatment? Well, we got to make the diagnosis for sure. It's presumed we don't know. We got to institute some disease-specific precaution, okay? And then the rest is story. So where is surgical mass? Right? This is TV. What is the precaution specifically for that? This is airborne. So this is negative. Collect three morning sputum. Yes, this is how you diagnose the TV. It has to be early morning sputum. You have to make sure you wash their mouth so that they, they don't uh, give you um, dirty specimen. So early morning when you wake up, you clean your mouth and it gives you sputum three. Three consecutive ones has to be negative to prove that you don't have active TV. So this is good. Negative pressure room. Yes, that is for airborne. You don't have to analyze it. Just know this is for airborne. Whatever organism it, I don't care. This is what I know this organism is an airborne, so I'm sticking with it. Where Wear N95 masks for a transport to the radiology. This, they can trick you, okay? When patient leave the room to go get a study, they wear just regular masks. We're wasting N95 here. So this is, this is the intervention. Door may be closed. Well, this is airborne. It must. The word should be must. Must be closed, no may. Therefore, this need intervention too. So there's three priority intervention that you got to do. Wearing surgical masks is not good. You have to wear N95. Um, wear, the patient wear N95. So this surgical mask is wear by the nurse, not the patient. The only mask the patient wear is um, Regular mass when he's getting um, radiology steady, get an S3 or something like that. But surgical, the uh, N95 is wear by the nurse. And then, you know, uh, the door must be, must be closed. So that is the way to answer these kind of questions. And I think uh, one more and then we're done. A client, so we go through our process. The selector that plan. A client was admitted with diffuse diarrhea. So it's having a lot of bowel movement. Stool culture was positive for C. diff. Now I see diff. Which of the following require immediate intervention? So immediate is a therapy, um, prioritization with SATA combined. So if you go through the process and we get to our C, we know that this is. C. diff, having diarrhea, what do I do? What is most important about C. diff? You know, this is a contact precaution. So institute your contact precaution and the rest will be story. So alcohol hand swab in, the, in front of the door. Alcohol and swab, no. This is C. diff, so they wash their hands. They to be everybody should be encouraged to and must wash their hands, no alcohol. 
Institute negative pressure room isolation. This is a contact precaution. You don't need negative pressure room. So that's negative. Door must be closed. No, the door may. May be closed. Flagell orally. Yeah, this is metronidazole. So the right word is metronidazole. This, you cannot take it. Um, he, 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 that is the treatment for um, C. diff orally. So this is taking orally and vancomycin enema. So they get PO, metronidazole, and rectal enema as vancomycin to treat the infection. Then we have gown and gloves. What is that? That is your contact precaution right away. When you come in contact with body fluid, you have to wear gown and gloves. And as you can see, most infectious control questions are straightforward. The information is just straight. You just have to record them, what you do with each of them. But if you've seen, if you've seen this multiple times, it becomes easy. As you see what they're looking for, what room are they in, what gown they wear, what gloves they wear, what masks they have to wear, what do you do and how to treat them. And so this is the just a brief question and answers on how to um, answer questions on infectious control based on the organism specific. Okay. Of course, they can give you questions on who do you see and intervene in terms of um, putting them together in the same room. But I already told you, putting them together in the same room is all based on the organism, not the precaution. Okay, so thank you for listening. And take care of yourself and all the best of luck. Bye.